Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sophie and I would love it if you click that big red subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell as well so you, that you never miss a video. Welcome to the first of my Mexico travel vlog Yay! series. Um, I'm in Merida currently um, and I'm very tired because um, this is like the start of my trip and um, there were no direct flights to Merida um, so I flew through to Mexico City from London Heathrow at like half past 10 p.m. on Saturday night. Today is Sunday um, and had like a six hour layover at Merida. Um, originally it was a shorter layover but then my flight got changed. Um, no, at Mexico City to go to Merida. And then when I finally got here it was too early to check in so I'm just <laughs> tired. Um, but I knew I was going to be tired so I actually booked myself a private hostel room dorm which is something I've never done before um, because I just thought I'm going to be going to sleep at all sorts of weird times at the moment I'm not going to want people waking me up but at the same time I still want to have the ability to socialise and I also just want to get an idea of what staying in a private dorm would be like because you know as life situation changes in the future you know I may find myself staying in these more than mixed dorms I don't know but for the rest of the trip I have put mixed dorms but the problem is when I booked this I did not realize what I was booking so there were loads of different private rooms I think some of them didn't have bathrooms so I was like well if I'm going private I want a private bathroom as well yeah um so and then I think some one of them said deluxe or something but it was the same price as the others so I clicked on it and when the woman, she, the receptionist actually showed me to my room, she started asking me about the piscina. I'm like, I speak Spanish and I'm just getting really confused. I have to ask her to repeat herself because I'm like, why is she talking to me about the pool? She's only showed me where the pool was. Because I have my own private pool. So I don't know if I just got lucky because I did book to in a Hostel World Sal and that's how I got that. If I wasn't meant to get that, I'm probably not going to swim in it anyway because I want to socialise. <laughs> and also it looks a bit rocky and it's a bit small. Maybe I'd just, I'd sit there and chill or maybe, you know, dip my feet in it. But I realised it's a really long intro because I just started talking about the hostel without even telling you where I'm staying. Um, I'm staying in Hostick, by the way. I'm staying here uh, because... Ellen Marie Travels recommended it on TikTok and I've actually just met another TikTok <laughs> and we were talking about that video as well um yeah so I just met Footloose and she's really nice I think that's I'm pretty sure that's her name on TikTok but her real name's Lucy um so that's where that's the first time I've actually had confidence to go up to someone I've seen in real life that I've watched online because I saw her on Jade Jade on New Year's Eve and I didn't go say hi to her and I saw a small YouTuber years ago in Germany um, and I didn't go up and say hi to her so <laughs> I had the confidence once which is good but I think sometimes you need to be sure as well that they definitely are who you think they are um, and I was definitely sure at this time enough rambling on you probably want to actually see what there is to do in Merida um, so far I've literally only just gone and got tacos for lunch because like I said I can check in and I need food so I went to this place that I um, was recommended um, in my Lonely Planet guide um, and it was really good um, I got three different tacos I'm set a picture here but yeah today is going to be the slow day I'm just going to go chill at the pool because you know ideally I want to go to bed but if I go to bed now I'm going to be waking up in the middle of the night because um, of the jet lag so I'm going to try and force myself to stay up to at least 8pm, which is still quite early. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to, on a tour to Chichen Itza that I booked through the hostel at 8am tomorrow. So that's probably what you will see mainly. <laughs> um, well, that will be the first big thing that you will see. But then I'm also going to have a day exploring Merida. Before I continue on with the rest of my vlogs, which hopefully won't have such a long and annoying intro but just so much is going on it's just been such a journey today I always missed my uber as well from the airport um 
But yeah, I'm here now. <laughs> Good morning everyone, um, please ignore that my hair is a mess. I will sway out later, but currently I'm not leaving my hostel room anyway, and it is also 5.45 a.m. I'm very jack left, so obviously I woke up um, early because, I mean, 5 a.m. here in Merida is 12 p.m. in the UK, so you know, waking up then is quite late. <laughs> On my my clock anyway, but to be fair, I did also wake up like multiple times. I think I woke up at like one and then like four, and then I never really went back to sleep after four. I just eventually decided to get out of bed. Um, but yeah, I'm going on my trip to Merida. I'm not to Merida. I mean Merida. I'm going on my trip to Chichen It's at eight. I can't remember everywhere else that's included in the tour. I have a feeling there's a new day, so I put bikini on. But I think. In a bit I'll just go double check the catalogue in the reception so I can make sure I've got everything I need. Um, my hostel breakfast, free breakfast starts at 8, but unfortunately the toilet starts at 8 so I've got myself an apple from Walmart. And I didn't know what cereal bar to get, I a special K one that I've never seen before. I don't know, it was one of the cheaper ones and it had chocolate and nuts so I was like, it will do me. Um, so yeah, just gonna eat that. Um, maybe chill for a bit, like use this time to get like some content done or stuff, or like move all the clips from yesterday and ooh, that's noisy and stuff off my, onto my hard drive. Um, I'm gonna go now and catch up with you later because it's noisy and yeah, I'll just catch up with you when I go on the tour to Chichen Itza. everyone so you'll probably think is Sophie this is not Chichen Itza where are you um well a lot of the tours around here actually include different stops as well as Chichen Itza which is why I knew I wanted to do a tour as well because uh, I know sometimes there's a lot of benefits to going by yourself because you can spend as long as you want etc but because I've only got a short time in Mary Derrick there's so many things to see in the area like close by I thought a tour which does a couple of other things as well would be a good option. So currently I'm in the town of it's Ismael and um, as you can see from the sign behind me and it's one of the pueblos mexicos de Mexico and um, Nacho I think he was saying it's it was one of the um, the first ten pueblos me mexicos because I think there's quite a lot now who was saying he doesn't actually know the tour guides and he doesn't know how many there actually are um, but this was one of the first ten. I think he said it may have even been the second, so quite quite important and it's also known as like the yellow town because I think it's painted yellow and it's matching today with my dress so yeah we've got a short amount of time to take photos here before going on to Chichen Itza and then we're going to Sinotes and then have a lunch and then I think that's it. to Chichen Itza it was the middle of the day and it was super hot our tour guide told us some facts about the pyramids but also the stadium and then we were given our own free time to take photos and videos but you're not allowed to take a tripod so here's me trying to get a video for Instagram reels which just turned out terrible and then we went to a cenote which was very busy because it was right around the corner from Chichen Itza everyone so it's my final day in Merida and I'm going to spend the two day actually exploring Merida because you know, the first day I just spent it by the pool and yesterday I was at Chichen Itza um, so I've actually come out quite early because I'm still jet lagged so I think I woke up about 5am but didn't get out of bed till half past 5 so I, got, I came out at like 6am um, and I thought it'd be quite quiet I thought it would be a good opportunity to take photos um, for Instagram but I was wrong like, it's actually very lively like not as lively as it is during the day like midday like, I think I'm the only tourist here and I'm in the main square but the locals they're all up and they're, they're going about their day um, <laughs> I thought that that doesn't really happen at 6am 
um, in the UK, well actually it's at 7am now, so maybe there'll be more people around now because they're going to work, but I don't know, maybe they go to work earlier here, school earlier here, I don't know, because it definitely looked, definitely looked like people were like going somewhere, they had somewhere to be, um, but yeah, I'm assuming at the moment that it's really open, I just wanted to come walk around and get, take some pictures and get a feel the city and then I'm going to go back to the hostel because there's free breakfast from 8 to 10 so it makes sense to me to get that and finish from that and then there's a few places I actually want to go like museums and stuff that um, yeah I guess I'll do after that I'll work out my exact route but yeah so far I've gone to, to try and get pictures with two of the archies um, but it wasn't as easy as I thought it would. One of them had all wires by it, um, also like because they are on the roads and the roads were busier than I was expecting. Um, there was a lot of cars and so everyone was watching me. Um, yeah, I might try and see if I can find a spot to get a picture of me with the cathedral. We'll see. But um, I'll probably head back to the hostel in a minute. <laughs> is basically this walkway, I say it means walkway, um, which um, is meant to be really nice because it has all these mansions near, um, nearby. It also leads to um, the Yucatan monument, I can't remember what it's called, but um, you've probably seen it. It's the one that you see whenever you search for Merida on Pinterest. Um, but yeah, it's actually quite a nice walkway as well because there's just trees everywhere, so it's so shady, which you need here because it's so hot. And like, I think I've come to Merida on like the hottest time of the year. Um, I'm pretty sure this is May is like the hottest time. The Yucatan, is, or one of the hottest months. But here I am. But yeah, I've got my Chichen Itza hat. I walked for 250 pesos at Chichen Itza yesterday, so I'm in full on tourist mode today um, but yeah I can actually see the monument now so I'm hoping I can get a nice picture there but the monument is on a roundabout as well so I'm a bit concerned about traffic but um, we'll see and then hopefully afterwards um, Casa Quinta Monteje I think it's called I can't remember hopefully that will be open or maybe it's Museo Quinta I, I don't know, but that's one of the old abandoned mansions that you can view. And so hopefully that'll be open so it's open until 3am and then I'll be able to go check that out and then head back down the street to the main square because although I was there earlier nothing was really open. So I'm gonna go back when things are open more lively so I can explore and uh, yeah, maybe get drunk as well because I'm thirsty. I then went to the museum Quinta Montes Molina, which is one of the abandoned mansions in Merida which has since been turned into a museum and opened up to the public. The families that owned these old abandoned mansions used to run plantations so that's where the money for the mansions would come from. I really enjoyed walking around and getting an idea of what it would have been like to live there. Um, it was definitely a very elegant building as you can see. I then went to Palacio de Gobernero which as you can see is just a beautiful building in itself like look at that mint green colour but this is also a place to go see art and it's free to explore so I highly recommend. And then I then went to one more museum called Museo Casa Montejo which was a bit smaller but it was free so can't complain. Hello again everyone, so I've come to a restaurant called the Chayamaya which was on my Google Maps list so that's the same thing. probably a good trust one, I don't know. And I did go to the markets but it was a little bit overwhelming and everyone had like tacos and I didn't want to eat some on my hands because I just felt 
pricey. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go to a restaurant where there's air con. Gracias. Sí, hablo español. No, 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 de no, 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 This was actually a really good meal. I really enjoyed it and would recommend. After this, I just went back to the hostel and chilled by the pool and forgot to end the vlog. So yeah, I have this random clip that I actually took a different day watching um, a local dance. And then yeah, eventually I ended the vlog for in Mexico City. Hello again, everyone. So I actually need to end the Merida vlog here because um, I'm not in Merida anymore. I'm in Mexico City. So if you want to see what I get up to in Mexico City, um, make sure to click that big red subscribe button down below and stick around for the next video because I don't even know what I'm going to get up to in Mexico City yet because I've just got here. So yeah, it's going to be an adventure, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, bye everyone and see you in the next video.